Good morning. Um, I want to start today uh, by praying and just as the Holy Spirit leads, but um, I want to remind everybody today that we can sometimes fall into uh, the rut and the trap of just praying for our current situation, our immediate circle, the people around us, our family, our friends, our co-workers, um, those where we, we know their situation or maybe some things that we see on, on the news. But there is a whole world of hurt out here. And we need to start praying against the some of the things that we are seeing uh, transpire. For example, we need to start praying against abortion. We need to start praying against identity confusion. We need to start praying against these organizations who are indoctrinating these, indoctrinating these children out here today and causing all types of confusion and causing all types of, um, unnatural affections because they think it's the norm. That being said, um, I'm just going to let the Holy Spirit lead this prayer uh, however he wants to. So, Lord God, I just I just lift up your people today, Lord, and I say have your way, have your will in our lives today, Lord. This is um, specifically for the body first. I just pray, Lord, that we would not grow weary in our well-doing. We would not just lie down and take a beating from Satan. We would actually get up and start walking in the authority that we've been given. I pray that we would not be powerless in this next season. I pray for anybody right now that has just felt like they are losing their fire, that you would get your fire back today in Jesus name. I pray for every single person in the body right now that you would hunger and thirst for righteousness like never before and that you would seek first the kingdom. Do you hear me? Seek first the kingdom. From the minute that you wake up, the Lord is going to be the first thing on your mind and before you go to bed at night, the Lord is going to be the first thing on your mind. I pray right now that the body of Christ would go forth putting their armor on daily, putting their armor on daily. Lord, use them mightily. Mark them for your glory. Make us light glory carriers, Lord, light bearers, glory carriers. When we go out, I pray that we would start to crack through the hardest hearts, softening them in seconds, not by any might or power or strength of our own, but by the spirit of the living God who dwells and abides in us. Hallelujah. I pray that you would continue to abide and remain in the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that if some of you have stopped reading your Bible, you're not med meditating on your word as much. Maybe you're just weary and tired. Maybe you're going through some kind of spiritual attack where every single time you pick up your Bible, you have some sort of apathy. It doesn't really do anything for you anymore. Oh, no. I bind up the spirit of apathy right now and command you to go in Jesus' mighty name. I bind up all heaviness right now, all lethargy, all sloth, all slumber, all laziness. I bind you up in everlasting chains in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I command you to go right now. Go, go, go in Jesus' name. Leave these people. Loose them now. They will not be tired. They will not grow weary. As a matter of fact, they will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Hallelujah. The peace of Christ will rule in your heart for anybody that's been restless. Anybody that hasn't been able to sleep. I just decree and declare right now that you will lie down and your sleep shall be sweet. You will lie down and none shall make you afraid. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord is about to raise up a standard against them. Hallelujah. And though a thousand fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand. It will not come near you. It won't get anywhere near you. Hallelujah. I put a, a wall of fire, a hedge of protection around you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I put the armor of God. If you don't have your armor on today, I'm putting it on for you. I put on the armor of God. Um, 
from Ephesians 6 right now on everybody that doesn't have their armor on. You need to have that on every single day. When you first wake up in the morning, just say, I put on the armor of Ephesians 6. So now you're armored up and ready to go. Whew, hallelujah. I pray you would get the revelation today that victory belongs to Jesus. I pray you would get the revelation today that triumph is in his name. Glory is in his name. Whew, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray you would get the revelation right now that there is no name greater under heaven, under the earth. Whew, hallelujah. I pray that you would start to walk, start to walk. In the strength of the Lord, not your own strength, not your own strength. I pray you would stop trying to do everything in your own strength and that you would go and you would get into the presence of the Lord daily because in his presence is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. I pray that the fullness of joy, which is well up right now within you and just flood the whole temple, the fullness of joy that comes from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Strength rise up right now. Strength rise up right now, wherever you have been weak, because the power of God, the power of God is perfected in your weakness. So rejoice in your weaknesses, bring them to the Lord Jesus Christ and let his power rest upon them in Jesus mighty name. Power of God rest upon their weaknesses right now. I pray you would start to feel strength rising up like you haven't felt in a long time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just lift up right now a prayer against abortion. We're going to pray against abortion right now. We're going to come into agreement right now. So for every mother that is out there right now that is contemplating taking the child of her life, Lord, send out your ministering angels to their locations. Send out your ministering angels right now to get them to think twice and to get them to, to keep that child, Lord, to decide to make a different choice than what they were contemplating, Lord, to talk them out of that, Lord, meet them, meet them outside the abortion clinics, Lord, with your ministering angels, your flames of fire, meet them in the waiting rooms of the abortion clinics, Lord, I pray that you would send them an in-season word right now, a word of knowledge, a prophetic word right now that's going to change the course and direction of their life forever in Jesus mighty name I pray that that child would be born every mother right now that is contemplating taking her child I pray that that I dec decree and declare right now that that child will live and not die Whoo, hallelujah and the mother will be declaring the good works of the Lord from this day forward hallelujah mark this day as the day that these mothers who have decided to keep their children that were contemplating abortion Mark this day, Lord, for your glory, for your glory. Transform them from the inside out. Pull them out of darkness into your marvelous light. Make them brand new creations. Make every crooked path straight, Lord. I pray that you would bless them for making that decision. Send divine provision from your abundant storehouses, Lord. Pour them out a blessing. They won't even have room to receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just pray against every organization right now indoctrinating these children out here, trying to cause all kinds of identity confusion, trying to pervert their minds, trying to teach them how to perform spells at home. Now we've got, oof, we've got magazines out there with homemade spells for your kids. I just pray against these companies right now. Lord, pull the plug on these organizations in Jesus' mighty name. Pull the plug on them, Lord. Take these businesses out. As a matter of fact, every single one of these businesses that has been getting rich and their pockets are fattening off of blood money. I pray that that money right now, whoo, hallelujah. That money right now would disappear and blow away like shaft in the wind. It would be here one day and gone the next in Jesus' mighty name. Because the earth and the fullness thereof belong to you, Lord. All the silver and the gold belong to you. And you are the one who exalts the humble. But you resist the proud. 
I just pray right now that these people in these organizations, I pray that the fear of the Lord would hit their houses, every single one of them, every single one of them. And that goes for the abortion clinics too. I pray that the fear of the Lord would hit their houses, the fear of the Lord that is the beginning of wisdom and that repentance would come to their houses today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray that they're falling on their faces right now in Jesus' mighty name and asking for forgiveness and asking for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just pray right now for people that are out there. They've been following like the Pharisees and Sadducees, dry, dead, powerless religion that does not transform, that does not... <laughs> Does, does not heal the sick, that does not raise the dead, that does not cast demons out, that does not crucify the flesh, that does not make them a brand new creation, that does not make them born again. I pray right now, Lord, that you would pull people out of that legalism right now. Whoo, hallelujah. I pray you would pull them out of legalism right now into relationship with you. Introduce them to the lover of their soul. Introduce them, whoo, hallelujah, to the Prince of Peace. Introduce them to Emmanuel, God with us. Hallelujah. Let the peace of Christ rule in their hearts. Lord, bring them out of error. I bind every spirit of legalism and error right now. At the sound of my voice, in the name of Jesus Christ, and I command you to go in the name of Jesus. You will let them go. You will lose them now in Jesus' name. They will serve the Lord Jesus Christ for the rest of their days. Whew. Hallelujah. And they will praise him. They will praise him. Hallelujah. For being introduced to the true gospel, the real gospel, which is repent. And believe repentance is not a work. Hallelujah. Repentance is not a work. It's a requirement. Hallelujah. So pull them out of legalism. Pull them out of darkness into your marvelous light. And Father, I thank you for it. I thank you for it, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor and the reverence due. You are God and there is no other. You are the one true living God. You are the only God that walked among us in the flesh on the earth as a man. You are the only God who died, was buried, and got back up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray that their old man would be buried right now and that they would rise to new life in you. And they would see the difference. As they look back, they would see the difference in dry, dead, powerless religion and religion with relationship. To, because to be a Christian to be a Christian is not just a denomination. When you are a Christ follower, that means to be Christ-like. Hallelujah. So I just pray right now for people, Lord, for people, Lord, that believe that they are saved and that they're not. I pray for people, Lord, that believe that they were born again just because they took a dip in a pool, just because they went down in the water. That's not how we are born again. We are born again by confessing with our mouth and believing in our heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. But the Holy Spirit comes to dwell in people who obey God people who obey God. So I pray right now for subservient hearts all across the globe, all across the globe, subservient hearts, hearts of a servant, submissive hearts, obedient hearts, fully surrendered and yielded hearts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that right now atheists are being pulled out of darkness into your marvelous light, Lord. Muslims are being pulled out of darkness into your marvelous light, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I pray that Jehovah's Witnesses are being pulled out of darkness into your marvelous light and Mormons out of darkness into your marvelous light. Lord, continue to pour out your spirit on people that are in these false religions. Hinduism, I pray right now, whoo, hallelujah, that the fear of the Lord would start hitting mosques and temples mosques and temples all over the earth lord spirit of the lord move however you want to move do whatever you want to do lord have your will in your way show these people why you are god and there is no other show these people why there is no other name under heaven by which we can be saved show them lord take them off the broad road onto the narrow one 
that few find, which is difficult, but leads to everlasting life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for the mighty work that you're doing even now. Because when your command goes out, who can stop it? When your command goes out, it is set in stone. When your command goes out, your word never comes back to you empty or void. It will accomplish everything that you sent it for to do. It will prosper in the thing for which you sent it. Hallelujah. I pray against identity confusion right now for these kids out here today, for this generation out here today, men wanting to be women because they don't like the image and likeness they were created in. Women wanting to be men, men wanting to lay with men, women wanting to lay with women. I bind that spirit of confusion that's been operating in you ever since the things that you don't talk about, you don't speak about, the things that either you were a victim of or the things that were passed down to you through generational sin or the things that you witnessed that you had no business seeing because you were too young to even understand what was in front of you. I bind that spirit of confusion right now and I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of uh, above any other name to loose them and let them go. Loose them and let them go. They will walk. They will walk in the knowledge that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. They will embrace the image and the likeness that they were created in. They will love who God made. They will not want to be anyone else. They will walk in their calling and in their purpose. And the gates of hell will not prevail against their identity another day. I decree and declare right now all across the world that people in the LGBTQ community are coming out today in mass numbers. You're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out of bondage. You're coming out of confusion. Hallelujah. You're coming out of self-loathing and self-hatred. Hallelujah. You're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out. Your bonds are being bursted apart right now as I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. You're coming out. You're coming out in Jesus' mighty name. You will know your image. You will, you will know your value and your worth you will never hate who you look at in the mirror ever again hallelujah the lord is going to fill you with the love for who he created he's going to let you get the revelation that there is nothing wrong with you that you are perfect just the way he made you and there doesn't need to be any alterations or changes made no because god doesn't make any mistakes and how you were made is exactly how you need to be hallelujah and i pray you get that revelation right now love of God overtake them love of God overtake them consume them Lord with your love consume them Lord <laughs> Let them know that they are accepted in the beloved, no matter where they've been rejected on the earth. Let them know that even if their mother and father should reject them and forsake them, that you will not, you will take them in. You will adopt them as your child and they are not a burden to you and you will never turn them away and you will love them. You will love them from glory to glory. Hallelujah. All the way home. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, I just pray right now for people in hospitals, people in rehabs right now, even people in jail cells right now that are being attacked their health is being attacked maybe it's a spirit of death maybe it's a spirit of infirmity could be a curse of death or it could be a curse of infirmity i just break that curse of death and infirmity on their off of their lives right now in the mighty name of jesus christ curses are being broken of death and infirmity all over the place lord have mercy on who you will and compassion on who you will Holy Spirit, move, move through the cell blocks of our prisons all across the earth. Move, move, Lord, move, move. Touch who you will. Breathe on who you will. Change them forever. Change them forever. Make them brand new creations. Let all things pass away and all things become new. Let them be transformed entirely by the renewing of their mind. Hallelujah. We just bind up the spirit of death right now. We bind up the spirit of suicide right now. Lord, I want to lift up people to you right now that are contemplating suicide. I pray if they're about to hang themselves that that rope snaps. I pray that if they're thinking about shooting themselves that the trigger won't work. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I pray that if they're about to down a bottle of pills, Lord, distract them somehow. Let somebody come to the door and knock. Let their phone go off. 
Hallelujah. I just thank you right now, Lord. Let them have a dream or a vision. Overtake them right where they are, Lord, and speak to their heart so that they'll make a new, they'll make a different, they'll make a change, they'll make a, they'll make a new decision today. They will live and not die in the name of the Lord. They will live and not die and declare the good works of the Lord. Pull them off the bridges, Lord. Pull them off the ledges, Lord. Pull them off of the top of buildings, Lord. Meet them with your ministering angels, your flames of fire, Lord, to show them the love of Christ today that's going to change them forever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.